Well, meanwhile, members of parliament drawn from across the political divide are now threatening to remove Sicily Karayuki as the cabinet secretary for health after she suspended Kenyatta National Hospital CEO Lily Koros over the brain surgery blunder. Speaking on the sidelines of the National Assembly's post-election seminar, the legislators maintain that there's more than meets the eye over the issues bedeviling Kenya's biggest referral hospital. She has shown us that she is not capable and that is why this petition has been signed by members who are not actually less than 100. So we, we are proceeding, we remove her and uh, we have many Kenyans who are qualified to be CSS. I think she's drunk with power, which is quite unfortunate. You cannot go ahead and fire a CEO for professional mistakes that have been done somewhere. She did not do any investigation. What she did was just go ahead and sack them. We will remove her and we don't fear anyone. And we've already signed the petition to remove her. Because if, if there is anybody who to take responsibility, it will be Cicely herself to step aside. And we know the reasons why she wants to remove her. When you look at Kenyatta National no. Hospital, we have always had cartels, people who overprice commodities, people who kind of owned the system of procurement at Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm -hmm. And these people have been swindling money very big amount of money from Kenyatta National Hospital.